Hello, Atlas 46 gear review. My name is Casey Tobar. I'm in Central Virginia. Um, I've got the uh, Saratoga vest with um, a bunch of attachments. And the main thing that I like about this rig is I'm 5'6", 140 pounds. I wear a size 30 waist. I've never found a set of bags that actually fit me, that are comfortable, that work for my body size until I finally invested in Atlas. I wish I'd have bought this stuff years ago. Um, if you're thinking about buying it, do yourself a favor. If you do this every day, if you wear bags every day, do yourself a favor, just get it. Um, this is the Saratoga vest. It came with the rigid tool belt. Uh, tool belt. I don't use that belt. Um, I just use the vest that puts all the weight on my shoulders, nothing on my hips. All my lower back pain is gone. Um, if I'm on the ground, if I'm cut man, I don't even have to zip it. I can wear it just like this. Um, the way I've got it set up right now, I'm left-handed. So I've got my hammer holster, nail puller, a uh, little sheath for my knife, the large tape pouch for um, a big 35. I do mainly um, carpentry, rough framing, siding uh, we get into a lot of remodels and stuff like that um, the way that this multi pouch is i don't use most of this stuff every day i'm just kind of showcasing what it's capable of for siding you know the um, side swiper for framing a long string line and a hundred foot tape um, dikes and uh, tin snips Lots of pencils, all these little pockets for markers and pencils. So last thing you want to do is climb down and find an extra pencil. Um, these uh, these pouches, they're real flexible, so you can climb all around. If you're up in the air, if you're on scaffold, on the roof, you can climb all around, and they don't bind up and get hung up on stuff. Um, got a pocket. So these up here I utilize all the time. Cell phones, um, any kind of notes I need to keep. Um, keys if I'm somewhere where I don't feel comfortable leaving the keys in the truck you can put all kinds of stuff up here cigarettes if you're smoking um, on this side obviously chalk line and nails um, they have this wire I keep hand drives on this side it's got this wire just slam it shut easy just like that these pouches are huge if you're a framer you can fit so many nails in here I don't have that many in here right now just because I don't want to carry it. Um, speed square. The magnets I've taken off and put onto, I'll show you in a second, onto the rigid tool belt that I took off of this. Um, this is a vertical fastener bag. This thing is awesome. Um, bender and big snips for siding. But both of those and a 20 ounce drink fit in this pocket. That is like my favorite thing about these bags. So anyways, that is the Saratoga vest. And like I said, I'm pretty small and this thing fits great. I've got it all the way tightened down. There was a lot of extra um, strapping. I just cut it off and, you know, welded it so it won't fray. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is because of how short I am, there's all this extra um, where I have to tighten it all the way down. There's all this extra and occasionally it'll get bound up sideways like that. But I'm going to get the uh, shoulder pads, hopefully, that will hold all that together. But that is the vest. Let me show you what I did with the, with the belt that came with it. So, so the belt, you know, this is going to be utilized if, if I'm doing something a lot less weight. When all I need is one type of fastener, my drill maybe like a metal roof or on um, something like that. And this uh, large drill holster just seems to work better. I've got the small one too. Maybe that'd be good for like an M12 or a, a, some kind of 12 volt magnetic um, bit holder here. And another left-handed hammer holder, cell phone um, pocket. Again, you know, you don't have to use it for a cell phone. Anything you want to store can be right there. And then the large uh, vertical holder for my fasteners or my drink um, and there's more I want to add to this that I don't have yet and then 
I also have the open core vest, which I'm dying to try out. Um, I'll have to talk to you again about that. I don't have any attachments for it yet. It looks super light. Um, I get a lot of comments about how hot the vest is. It's not hot at all, but I'm assuming that this is even um, cooler. And uh, hopefully I'll get some attachments to add to this and let you guys know. So thanks uh, for viewing and have a great evening.